Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, afternoon people, where are you watching me from? come on board my name is crystal today i'm going to talk about why everybody's calling upon acl to come back the reasons people are calling acl to come back is one acl the time that he was president he made life easy for each and every zambian each and every zambian could afford all the things that a human being would afford would need and then two Mille meal was cheaper under ECL. Every Zambian could afford to get a bag of Mille meal. It was only at 120 kwacha. Come talk of uh, infrastructure, medicines in the hospitals, schools, even in school, free education was there from grade one to seven. There was nothing like it has started only now. It was there. Edgar Lungu brought it. So then from there, fuel was cheaper. Fuel were buying a liter at 17 kwacha a liter. But now, if you compare, it's about above 30, which is not fair. Talk of the taxi drivers, minibus drivers, they're all suffering. We're in this together. And then you come and hear people saying, no, uh, people are saying, Ale wele lapo, ale wele lapo we. he has to come back. The reason why people are calling him, you should know when people talk about you, you should know that there is something that you did good for those people. People cannot speak about somebody if he never did anything. For the people that will just show why people are calling upon ECL to come back that he managed to treat each and every Zambian well and make sure each and every Zambian had a life that they could afford to live ECL made sure a Zambian would afford a bag of millimil not 10 not 10 kg or 5 kg it was a 25 kg UPND what did they tell us they were saying no when we come in we are going to make a bag of 25 kg breakfast meal at 50 kwacha, which has not happened. Fewer, they said they're going to give us 12 kwacha a liter, which has not happened. Just look at all that. Free education. They come with this free education stuff. Look at the free education that they've brought in. Most of the children are not even going to be able to understand or even pass exams when it's exam time. Because you cannot put children in a class, say 100 to one teacher, which is not fair. How is the teacher going to manage to mark all the hundred books? It's not right. This is why with Eddie Galungu, he had to first start with infrastructure, more infrastructure. And then from there, he was going to employ more teachers so that the free education was going to make more sense. Not now. You can't be boasting about that. Those things are not happening. Okay. Look at the women, the youths women have to be looked at because the women need more support and they need to be employed in other sectors youths even the youths have to be employed as well the women are the backbone they're the ones who run everything if you put a woman in front even in a house she's the one who takes who gets to run everything she gets to check is everything in check in the house so please help us put the women we don't have much women there eddie galungu is he's going to come back and we're going to call upon him if upnd were doing the right things maybe people are not going to call upon him so do not start saying it's hatred or what we're not speaking out of hatred we are just trying to say the things that we're being told it is not hatred even i myself sitting here i'm a woman i'm not hurt that upnd is really no i'm just speaking to what they promised us comparing between pf and upnd in pf our life was easier we could afford even a chicken. We could buy two or three chickens. Now you cannot buy a chicken. How much is a chicken today? You go to the market, you find chickens, 150, 160, 130. How many people are going to afford to buy a chicken? Meaning a lot of people are going to suffer. They will not be able to buy a chicken. Even in Shima. In Shima now, it is difficult to find Shima in a home. Women have to go and stand on long, long queues just to access a bag of millimil. And for them to access that bag of millimil again, it's 230 kwacha. That is uh, ZNS million, the ego million. So, you know, all these things, you shouldn't think, no, PF are bitter. We are not bitter. We are speaking. 
Eddie Galungu made our lives very, very easy. And when you look at Eddie Galungu himself, where did he start from? He was, a, he was an MP for Chawama. He was a minister, home affairs. He was a minister under defense. From there, he rose to where he is, to the office that he is. And you see that the people that are following, that's there for him. When he goes anyway, you should check when you go to a certain place or area or even in a street, when you move, if people come in large numbers to follow you, you should know you're doing the right thing or you did the right thing for those people. But if you go somewhere and people are not following you, you should know that there is something wrong that they are doing, which is not even for the people. The people are not agreeing to that. So let's not finger point to say, no, these people are bitter. They are keep on singing, alewele la po, and insulting. There's no need for that. We are all Zambians. This is our Zambia. We've only got one Zambia. We need to advise each other. When the other one is not doing the right thing, let's tell them. And let us learn to appreciate a person if they do the right thing, like Eddie Galungo did. Let's all learn for once to appreciate him. He's coming back, and that calling by the people is not something like he just said, oh, let me stand up and this and that or maybe he's bitter he's not bitter about anything okay if he was bitter he was not in the first place going to hand over power but he's a person who knew that okay i've run my race now it's the time for the other one let me give him the ball let's see as they have promised also to deliver to the people but there's nothing that happened after that and this is why people sat down and started thinking to say no i think what we did in 2021 was wrong people are crying and that's the fact. We cannot run away from that. As we mingle with a lot of people on the ground, people are even saying 2021 we made a mistake. Eddie Galung, we should have let him to finish what he was doing for us. And now this is why they are calling upon him to come back in 2026. He has to come back and come and help us to get back to where we were, where we could afford to eat a chicken, we could afford to buy a bag of millimeal at 120, fuel at 17 kwacha. Me, I drive. Now it's difficult to put uh, even say four liters in the car. It's expensive. If I put all that in the car and then in the house, what am I going to eat? I need to buy millimeal. There is electricity. Electricity also is something else, another issue as, as well. All this UPND promised us so many promises. Women are suffering. And you know that women, we are the backbones. We are the ones who actually keep homes together. We, the women in a house, are the ones who keep everything standing. Without a woman, nothing can be put straight. So even in government, in all sectors, we need the women to be employed, youths to be employed. The youths need to be employed. The main reason why we have a lot of youths getting, like even dying out of suicide, is because even youths have pressure. One, if they check, mothers, maybe they're not working, they're not employed. Fathers also, they come in with salaries which are not even enough. The youths at schools are committing suicide on a daily basis. They are ever on social media. Every time you open, you find that this youth has committed suicide. Reasons being, employment levels also for the youths, there is nothing. Government, you are not employing the youths. The youths are getting wasted by day. Alcohol, drugs, all that, which is not right. In the government, you are supposed to employ youths. You're supposed to employ more women, but you people are not doing that. Under Eddie Galungu, I saw under Eddie Galungu's time in his regime, we had more women than now. The women were a lot that time, even youths. He had plotted youths inside the government, but now there is no youths. Women are less. Talk of the women even in parliament. We've got a small number of women in parliament. It just shows that things are not okay. We need more women and the youths to be employed and supported. The women, more especially, are the ones who are supposed to be mostly supported by the government to help so that they continue with their homes, keeping them in order, and even the youths. Without a woman, that youth cannot be straight. But if you have a woman and a youth put together, the woman is going to nurture a youth to say, you live like this, and the youth will understand and listen. So now we want and I'm asking that women should be looked at. The youths need to be looked at. We need that the most. We're having the rains. We don't even know, we're not sure if we're going to even have enough like rains to come and so that people can plant. The farmers, we don't know. 
next year if we're even going to have a bumper harvest when UPND came in they found maize that was uh, uh, planted by Edgar Lungu's regime we had a lot of maize bumper harvest was reported what did they do they sold all the maize out and now we are suffering when we had enough maize that was left by Edgar Lungu and his regime it was kept there for a reason for us Zambians to have our milling you continued at the same price of 120 kwacha though the UPND told us to say don't make it 50 kwacha which they lied to us Edgar Lungu kept the maize but then they came in and sold it now we are suffering and now today women have to go on a queue a long long queue to stand just to try and access to buy a bag of millimil which is not right a woman is supposed to be respected not to go and stand in a queue under Edgar Lungu there was not even a day did any woman or youth go and stand to stand in a queue just to buy that bag of millimil please look into this this is not right our country i don't know where we are going to not that we are speaking out of hate we are not hating pf we are not hating as pf people we are very happy because we wanted also the people of zambia to understand because they were saying no if upnd come in they will cheapen up the millimeter fuel this and that drivers especially the bus drivers they ferry a lot of people every day every second a bus is moving a taxi is moving they were told that their fuel is going to be 12 quarter a liter today their fuel is above 30 quarter and it is difficult i speak to people taxi drivers are crying they are saying they are making nothing on a day somebody will think okay let me drive i take a client aside but the fuel is too high for them they're making nothing at the end of the day and this is why they are even calling upon Edgar Lungu to come back because they know that under Edgar Lungu that time that he was in power things were okay for them they were making something out of the trips they make with their clients but now they make nothing all that criminality is on the increase now go to the townships the reason why we're having that uh, criminality increase is because one youth are in, unemployed so what do they do they tend to drink alcohol and this is why we have these junkies attacking people because those same youths had they been employed they were not going to have you know to take alcohol drugs and start beating up people and stealing it's because one life is very 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 difficult the townships people are really really suffering though we don't sit on the news but people are suffering some of us walk in a township whoever you talk to they're all crying all they are asking for is ECL needs to come back to help us because under ECL life was very 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 affordable for each and every Zambian and this is why they're all calling him back to say let him come back because they knew that under him everything was affordable so upnd please this thing of saying no pf the word hate we do not have hate i am sorry i'm telling you the truth this is what you people told us yourselves to say that when you come in our lives will be better not knowing that when you come in our lives were going to be this difficult this is not even a joke people are dying hospitals are something else also them there is no medicine there's completely nothing there so now there's no need to finger point at eddie galungu and this thing of every time eddie galungu did this eddie galungu did that kindly stop it and work on your promises at all if you are still going to work on them stop that thing of pointing at him and his family he was in government when he came in he worked he did not finger point at the predecessor like arabi for instance he did not say oh you know, Arabi left this on the table for our late president, Michael Chulufiasata. So no, Arabi did this with his family. Arabi did that. No, he did not do that. Not even late president Sata did that. When he came in as well, he worked. The same thing, Eddie Galungu, when he took over, he just started working on everything he found. He did not finger point at a former president that was there before him. He didn't do that. So UPND, can you stop that and just wait? Give the people what you promised them. 2026 is around the corner. Edgar Lungu 
we need to come back and put each and every Zambian's life back to the way it is to be. We want that thing whereby today when we walk with a hundred kwacha into a shop, we're able to buy bread, we're able to buy sugar to kg, we're able to buy a tray of eggs, we're able to buy at least a small bottle of cooking oil and a small blue band. Hundred kwacha today when you go to shop right, you go anywhere. Breakfast you buy just a two kg of sugar your hundred kwacha is gone you don't have even money to buy a bottle of cooking oil eggs for breakfast you can't buy it's not enough bread is 25 kwacha bread was never 25 kwacha under it galung we used to buy bread at nine kwacha 99 we used to buy bread at 10 kwacha but now bread is 25 kwacha it's very very unaffordable for each and every zambian imagine that one who's trying to look for maybe say 15 kwacha and they're wishing to buy bread. They cannot eat bread. This is why they tend to go now and start breaking into homes, attacking people on the street. As they walk 18, 19 hours, people have been attacked left, right, center, because they don't have the money. And two, life has become very, very difficult. Very difficult. I have a 1,000 today. Let me go to maybe Jumbo or ShopRite. What I want to buy on the list will not even come. I'll just get maybe three, four, five things. And when I look at the things, I'm like, what did I buy out of the 1,000? But under Eddie Galungu's time, a 1,000 kwacha would bring so much things. Even as I walk to the house with bags, I'll be very happy. But now, even when you go to these chain stores to buy any like groceries and what, even if it's 4,000 kwacha, by the time you're leaving that store, after paying, you'll be so sad to look at your little groceries you've bought. It's just maybe two, three things, which is not fair. People need to have a life the way it was before. It needs to be affordable for each and every Zambian. Tataba Ed Galungu, please, we're asking you to come back, to come and help us. You are the only one to come and help us. Because with your leadership, it is tried, tasted, and approved. We know for sure that if Ed Galungu comes back, we call him back and he's put there. We know that and guaranteed that. For sure, our life is going to be very, very better. We don't want this thing whereby we are going to start, we say, okay, no, this and that. No, we want you to come back. We do not want to experiment again where we are going to suffer, like now. Please, Valung, we are asking, but that way, you need to come back and come and liberate us from this suffering. Because right now, maybe I am better. There are more people who, are, who cannot even afford, not even water. In the township, people buy water. But if you don't have that one kwacha or two kwacha, they cannot survive. People can't buy water. And you know water is life. Water is life anywhere you go. But then, if somebody does not have even a five kwacha or two kwacha, meaning they will not have water, and nobody can live without water. Please, we are asking. Please, Vatata Balung. Please, please, please. You need to come back to Alomba. Please. Thank you, and we thank grassroots media and associates all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of Mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go